all right hi guys one second all right hi um today i'm going to show you how to customize the footer in the phenomenon theme um remember before i told you this image link was broken in the testimonial box so it wasn't broken it just simply didn't have any link to any image so i'm just going to put um demo image here and save changes just to show you how it works let's refresh second all right so here it is uh, so now i'm going to show you how to customize this whole footer area uh, from the back end so let's go to the widgets area sorry for it's loading too slow I'm on a very slow connection so try to understand so as you can see we have two footer sidebars here we have the footer widgets and the footer social links let's start with the footer widgets alright let's drag some demo widgets here let's say categories categories save um, recent posts this is a custom recent post made by me what's the difference between this and the normal default WordPress uh, recent post is that you can exclude certain categories from the loop uh, this could be very useful and you can choose how many posts you want to display in the widget let's just say 5 and hit save Let's say we want to use recent comments. Or sorry. All right, recent comments. Recent comments. Save. And mm, let's make the archives archives and save all right so let's go back to our theme and let's refresh and see what happens all right so we have the widgets here it looks a bit uh, short because we don't have enough, a lot of content in it I'm just gonna put another widget so you can see the length let's say meta and links instead of categories and refresh so you can see how long can it go and fresh all right now it looks better so this is how it looks at the moment um, so now I'm going to show you how to add the social links in the footer Let's go back to the widgets area, close this sidebar and open the footer social links. This is a special sidebar, sidebar created to contain your social links and there is a special social widget for it called the bottom footer social link. What you do here is you're going to choose the icon, let's say Facebook, the tooltip title, let's say Facebook tooltip and here you're gonna enter the URL you want your icon to link to. Let's say p uh, facebook.com and choose the link target. Default is blank. So what you can choose here, if you want it to be open in the same window in your site window instead of your site or in a new window, blank. The default is blank. Hit save. Let's go back to the phenomenon and refresh. Let's see what happens. And we get the Facebook link and the Facebook tooltip like we wanted to. Now we can add a lot of a lot more as much as we want and we can rearrange them. Let's say we want the RSS or MySpace. We we'll give it a title again, title, link, and blank, save. And that's it. Fresh you can customize and create how many as you want you can choose from I think 10 icons you can see there and um, 
that's it so enjoy have fun and just so you can see this is our little link myspace link that's it bye